I feel extra like Kylie Jenner-esque right now. Hey guys, it's Alexa. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a quick DIY tutorial for you guys. It's actually inspired by another YouTube video out there. Anyways, what it is, is just a two-piece set made out of a oversized sweater. Yes, I actually had another tutorial lined up for you guys, but something happened with the materials and it won't be arriving until mid-July, so I had to kind of whip something up really quick. This tutorial has been done um, quite a few times already on other channels, but I decided if I'm going to make it, because I really like it that much, um, if I'm going to make it, might as well record it and might as well post it. I also laced up the um, skirt a little bit differently, so I guess that's like a little bit of a difference. Speaking of the social media queen, if you haven't followed me on any of the socials, feel free to do so. All the socials are at the Nava Rose, and if you guys haven't subscribed yet, you guys could do so down below. So let's just get onto the tutorial. What you will need for this tutorial is a sweater. I just used my boyfriend's, but any sweater will do as long as it's big enough. Scissors, a marker, pen, or crayon, some string to lace up your set with, and grommets with the grommet tool. So what you want to do first is mark your sweater of where you want to crop it. You really want to crop it as high as you can because the bottom portion is going to be your skirt and you don't want to skimp out too much on the skirt or else you will look like a hoochie. So once you're happy with the length, go ahead and cut it. I actually cut mine two inches from the armhole so that it was long enough for the crop top and also enough space for the skirt. So I've seen some tutorials where the girls actually keep the pockets for the skirt, but I thought it was a little weird on me. So I went ahead and cut out the portion with the pocket. Luckily, my boyfriend was an extra large so that the rest of the fabric was able to make a full skirt. But if your skirt isn't big enough, then just go ahead and use the pocket. That was just my opinion of it, but it actually doesn't look too bad. Pick which side of the skirt you want to be for your front flap and put down your grommets where you want them to be placed. Once you're happy with the placement, mark them in the center of the grommet, that way you know where to cut. So now you want to cut a little hole for your grommets to fit through. I actually like to make a little X instead of cutting an actual circle. That way it kind of helps me from making too big of a circle because you want to make the hole big enough for the grommet to fit through but you don't want it to be too big to where your grommet will fall out which is actually possible so you really don't want that. Once you find out how big each hole should be, go ahead and make a hole for the rest of the skirt. As you guys can see, I started making the holes a little bit further down from the actual dot that I marked because the second dot actually fell on a seam which would have been impossible to put a grommet through. So I had to kind of like adjust my spacing a little bit. So just be mindful of where you place your grommets. So if you guys don't know how to apply a grommet, I will quickly go through it. All you have to do is grab the base of the tool and then flip your garment inside out. You want the wrong side to be facing up and the right side to be facing down. Grab the grommet with the longer tube on the inside. There are two sizes, one with a longer tube and one with a shorter tube. You're going to pierce it through the right side first so that the tube comes out on the wrong side. And then you're going to place the grommet onto the base. Grab the smaller grommet with the smaller tube and place it on top with the right side of that grommet facing up. Then you're going to grab the final tool, place it on top and give it a good 20 wax with your hammer. As you guys can see, I'm kind of like fake hammering only because I wasn't working on an actual table at the time. Depending on the grommets you use, I use the bigger ones so it's going to take a lot more to hammer down. Once you get the hang of it, you can add grommets onto the rest of the skirt. Fold over each side on top of each other so the one without the grommets you're going to place down first and the ones with the grommet you're going to place it over and then go ahead and mark in the center of each grommet so that the grommet placement can match for each side. So 
So I totally forgot to record this part onto my body, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring the two top grommets in a little bit more. That way it could give it that high-waisted A-line effect. So what you wanna do is put the skirt onto your body and fit it as close as you can to your waist. The third grommet should actually fall in place with the other side of the grommet, so you only have to move the first two. Once you have those marked, go ahead and add grommets to that whole side. Go ahead and cut any extra seam allowance and you are ready to lace up your skirt. So I laced my skirt a little bit differently than some of the tutorials. What I did was I got the center of the string and I sewed that part to the inside of the skirt next to the first grommet. I really wanted to bring the grommets as close as I can when lacing it, that way it fits better on the skirt. So just a side note that when you guys are lacing, it's going to be a little bit looser than what you expected. So make sure the grommets are a little bit tighter than they would be. So the way that I laced this is that I brought both sides of the strings through one of the grommets and then I threaded one side to one grommet and then I just continued to lace up that way. For the second set of grommets, I actually brought them back through one hole again. I'm not too sure exactly why I laced it this way, maybe because I thought that it would keep it more in place and closer together, but you guys are more than welcome to use this lace up method or you guys can just lace it up however you want. Once you're done lacing everything, then you guys are completely finished. So this is the finished look. And I actually replaced the drawstrings on the hoodie. That way it gave it a more cohesive look. I like this tutorial so much that I might do it on another sweater because I just thought it was really fun and super easy. And I just have so many materials left over. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Um, that's pretty much it that I have for you guys. I really do like this Tumblr inspired DIY kind of thing. So maybe I'll do more of that. But yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hold on. How should I do go about that? Um, How should I do go about that? <laughs> Don't you have the headphones on? Shut up. You're a lot of the hell. Well, I have to be it. <laughs>